We're making bombs with the Illyrium. Yeah, nuclear bombs. Bigger than any nuke we have now. Way bigger. What were they building down here? Weapons fabrication. No end to the things Illyrium could do there. Anything we can use? Not unless you want to carry a bomb. The war room is this way. They're digging? Why? What are they doing? This place is coming down. We gotta get the hell out of here. First we save the brass, then we evac. The war room is just ahead. Nothing good. Move. Take him out. Let's take him down! General Deems, are you all right, sir? Where's Falk? What happened here? I'll ask the question, son. Yes, sir. Director Falk is at the rail platform. Our orders are to escort you there immediately. Then lead the way. General! Clear the target, now! That's not Deems! He's one of them! Nils, get back! Just hang on, sir. It's gonna be... Okay! Why did you stop me? What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that I just saved your life. Who are you? What the hell are you doing in the war room? Senior Agent Angela Weaver, from the Bureau. The Director sent me here to guard the brass. You did just fine there. Are any of them still alive? Deems was already under outsider control when I got here. Some of them put up a fight, but not for long. One of their puppets attacked me earlier. What's causing this? I'm not sure, but obviously it's connected to this attack. We've been tracking cases like this for years. Deems was one of our top brass. How did he come under their control without anybody realizing? As far as we know, there's no way of telling who might be susceptible to their control. If they got to Deems, they could get to any of us. You knew that he killed Hoover and the others. You could have taken him out earlier. I was going to, but he was resisting their control. He might have been able to fight it off. I shot him to stop him from killing the three of you. We have to get out of here. Falk ordered us to bring any survivors to the rail platform. The diesel will only get you as far as the test site. Can we radio for evac from there? We're nearly out of time. Get to the rail platform and head out to the test site. I'll call in a Sky Ranger, collect Falk, and meet you there. If you can't reach the test site, we'll have no choice but to leave without you. General Deems. I can't believe this. All of them. Dead. Who's in command now? Falk is. And until we hear otherwise, we assume that he's in charge. For all we know, he's the president. You really think they got Kennedy? Let's go. Now. Jesus. What is that? Some kind of power source, like those reactors back there. Those weren't bombs they were launching into the ground? No, I think they have other plans. What does it do? I don't want to be here when it does it. all this. 
Keep moving. Engaging! There it is, the rail platform. Little gray man! <laughs> Shit! Outsiders on the rail platform! Carter, what do we do? We go through them. Ready your weapons. Area. Hard! Abort! Okay, skip me now! Get behind that! Moving out! Finish it off! Extra firepower. Keep the pressure on him. I've got this one. Ah. Oh, Turn it out. Score one for us. Let's get out of here before this whole place comes apart. They're getting closer. This will take us to the test site. What are we waiting for? Made it. Too fucking close. Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Oh no. I didn't like that. Hold on to something! Look at that thing! Hang on! God damn it! Get this thing going faster! Should be a radio up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. Come on, Carter, radio in and let's get out of here. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. I don't like the look of that bomb up there. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine. As long as we don't start any tests. Right? Here they come! Open fire! See them! Holy They're down below! Let us know where you want us, Carter! <laughs> Take 
Take cover there! Adjusting! Going now! Get behind cover! On my way! More pods incoming! I'm here! Don't know how long we can hold up! They're holding up good! Enemy forces inbound to you. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you? I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. All right, do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. Listen, we're not safe and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say and we'll get through this. Yes, sir.
In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number three. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this is gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well... The ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, 
Valk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself cease to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive, 
Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <sighs> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. I haven't slept more than a couple hours in years. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. Like I said, this is our office and our bunks. Maybe someday they'll get the barracks up and running. No. I mean, I barely sleep at all. Well, can't say I blame you. Not after the morning you had. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office. ASAP, as always. The old man say what he wanted with me? Ha! <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything he doesn't think they need to know. Well, I guess you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me, seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah well, it'll be just like college, right? Yeah, except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. Had my own bathroom and everything. Well, ain't you fancy. Are you saying something about that radio? Oh, yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music, but it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure, that's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, Manages what the public hears. The whole deal. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. Just running it over to the armory. I wasn't told about any deliveries. In case you haven't noticed, things are a little hectic around here right now. There's a war on? Sorry, Doc. But we're gonna have to hold you here while we check this with Central. Central? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's right. I forgot. None of you people can think for yourselves. Watch yourself, Doc. Lighthouse, point one. Point one, go for lighthouse. Hey, I got one of the white coats here with a hazmat delivery for the QM. Says he had it scheduled, but I don't have any transfers on my dock. Stand by. I'll check the logs. I really don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Every moment is vital to our success. Sorry, Doc. We got orders. What is it, Will? Are you saying something about that radio? Oh, yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipe. Don't we have more important? Uh, sure. That's why I haven't bothered. Who would know more? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's in for me. I'd better go. See you later, Will. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note Remember, of this and talk to one of the eight, radio operators. Nine. You probably ought two, to run that by Operator Chelsky across the hall. Repeats, Might be important. Two. Five zero November eight nine two. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. 
I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. But for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? Yes. Most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. The best of the best, you know. What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction west. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 155 kilohertz. Checking low frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Radio's been playing a strange broad... I heard... It could be... It's worth checking. First, set the... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra-high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is... It's survivors. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. Yes, sir? Thanks for the information. Just doing my job.